Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving a problem in Young's double slit experiment. Let me read out the problem. In Young's double slit experiments, how many maximas can be obtained on the screen, including central maximum? If a light of wavelength 2000 angstrom is used and the distance between the two slits is 7000 angstrom. Let's try to understand what he has given for you. These are the two slits that we have. This is slit uh, S1. This is slit S2. The distance between the two slits is given for you, small d. There is a screen. At a point, there will be a bright spot or a dark spot. How it is going to happen? From S1, light will go. From S2, also light will go. And reach at the point P. Depending on how do these two light waves meet at that point P, we will get either a bright spot or a dark spot. But if you look at the diagram, it is very clear that S2P is bigger than that of the S1P. How much bigger it is to find out? I shall draw a perpendicular line from S1 here. And if you call this value something like Q, this is the extra distance. Other than that, both of them are same. The difference in the distance that they have while they are traveling in their path is called something like path difference. So we can write path difference of these two light waves is delta x equal to s2p minus s1p if this angle is theta this angle is also going to be equal to be a theta now we can clearly see there's a right angle because we have drawn a perpendicular in that right angle triangle S1, Q, S2, if you write sin theta, that's going to be equal to delta x by d. That implies delta x, that's the path difference, is nothing but equal to d sin theta. So this is the condition that we have got. If that delta x if you want to write what's the relation between this delta x, this delta x is the path difference. If we know there is a relation between phase difference and path difference, which is already proved, delta phi equal to 2 pi by lambda into delta x. If that delta x is 10 lambda, delta phi will become 2 pi by lambda and n lambda that becomes 2 pi into n. Then the phase difference is in terms of multiples of 2 pi's. That implies the resultant intensity will be maximum. So to get a bright spot, because you want to calculate how many number of the maximas are the bright spots, the condition for the delta x must be equal to n lambda is equal to d sin theta. You want maximum number of bright spots. Maximas are bright spots. For that to happen, sin theta has to be maximum. That means theta is 90. That implies sin 90 is equal to 1. Then we can write a formula. n into lambda is small d. So, n lambda is given to you in the problem as something like 2000 in the problem and the distance between the slits is given as 7000. That implies n is going to be equal to 3.5. So what's the meaning of this n equal to 3.5? Let us try to understand and uh, try to draw it in a diagram. 
is the central bright spot we say n equal to 0 next we will get a bright spot when n equal to 1 you will get that n equal to 1 not only above the central bright spot but you will get it below the bright spot also so for n equal to 1 you will get two bright spots next time for n equal to 2 second bright spot not only on the above below also you will get it again here for n equal to 3 you will get a bright spot both above and below but the next bright spot will be n equal to 4 for 3.5 you won't get a bright spot next bright spot is 4 so 3.5 is not going to produce a bright spot so total number of the bright spots will be see central bright spot is 1 for n equal to 1 2 total together 3 5 and together 7 that implies the total number of the bright spots that implies total bright spots including the central maximum is equal to 7 in fact on the screen they appear like uh, kind of lines like this the circular lines in the angst double set experiment right that's how we need to solve the problem thank you for watching Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.